This problem asks us to find, sketch and find the cutoff values for this given problem. It says that we have thermometers that are normally distributed with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Now let me pause there for a quick second. As soon as you read these words and you see those words, they are normally distributed. Three things come to mind, and I mentioned this in a previous video. We have a bell-shaped distribution, we have a total area under the curve which is 1, and this bell-shaped bell -shaped distribution is symmetrical. As soon as you see these two things, not only do we have a normal distribution, but we have a standard normal distribution. Okay, let's keep going. They ask us to assume that 2.2% of these thermometers are rejected because they're too high, and we also have 2.2% that are rejected because they're too low. Now, we need to sketch and determine these cutoff values. Well, let's start with the sketch. Right? Let's start with the picture that's going on here. Scoot this over so you can see it. All right, so here's my normal distribution picture. Now, what they're asking is, what they're trying to tell you is this. We actually have a tail, and I've got zero sitting in the middle there. We actually have a tail over here that if I shade to the right of it, that 2.2% of this, or 2.2% as, as a decimal, is 0.022, right? That this area over here gives me an area of 0.022. And they want to know, what is that corresponding Z number? Right? Because these over here are too high. These are thermometers that give us readings that are just too high. Likewise, on the other side, I have another tail that if I shade on this side this is a Z number that corresponds to the thermometers of 2.2 percent of them or 0.022 that are too low. All right, so I've got too high on the right hand side I've got too low on the left hand side. So there's the there's the sketch there's the picture that's going on and we're being asked to find out what are these Z numbers right here? What are these Z numbers that makes it so that 2.2% or 0.022 is shaded to the right? And what is this Z number that gives me a shading to the left of 0.022? I hope you see because 0 is in the middle and any number to the right of 0 is a positive number that this Z over here is a positive Z score. Right? And likewise, anything to the left of zero is a negative number. So this corresponding z is a negative z-score. But, but because of symmetry, right? Because of symmetry, and these two areas being exactly the same, these two z-scores are also going to be exactly the same. The only difference is that this one on the right-hand side is going to be a positive number and this one on the left hand side is going to be a negative number. That's the only difference between these two Z numbers. Okay? In other words, their absolute values are identical. All right, so what I'm going to do then is to determine these cutoff values here is I'm going to use my table. Now, take a look at these two pictures. This is shading to the right, this is shading to the left. If I use this table, and I know I keep referring to these things, if I use this table, do you see that this positive Z table here in the back of the Triola book um, has a lot of area shaded to the left. So I'm not going to use the positive Z's. Let's use this picture over here. Let's use the negative Z table because look at that picture right there. That kind of that tail shaded to the left kind of looks a lot like this thing right here, right? This thing. So let's go try to find the this Z score, which is going to be a negative one, which we already knew that, right? So let's go try to find that. And I know you can't really read this very well, but I hope you see that the closest thing that I can find to an area of 0.022 is this one. Let's see, this one's sitting right, where is it? 0.022. Is this thing sitting right here? Now I know you can't read that, but it corresponds to a Z score of negative 2.01. Negative 2.01. Alright, so let me come back over here and show you this. Alright, according to the table, this z-score, the closest thing I could find, actually if you, you're looking on the table is, is this. That's the closest thing I could find. Alright, closest. 
um, that I could find to a 0.022 was 0 0.0222 um, and it gave me a z-score, a corresponding z-score of negative 2.01 right so negative 2.01 was the negative cutoff score the negative cutoff score the positive cutoff score is well it's just the absolute value of that thing so it's positive 2.01 so there we go any thermometer that gives me right that gives me a reading of 2.01 or higher or negative 2.01 or lower is cut off according to this uh, question here, right? These are my cutoff values. Anything that's too high or too low. Hope that helps.